FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. Dow's trading off 1%, 386 points there, half percent for the S&P, or 25 points, about three-quarters of a percent for the NASDAQ 100, 142 points there. The Russell's up 19. That's a 1% move to the upside. Trannies are up 108. Semis are down 32. Gold's up 20 cents. Silver's down 78 cents. Lights be crude is off 35 pennies. Natural Gas is back eight cents in a 30 treasury. Print out 115.13. That's up 25 ticks. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini. ES Mini closed below the bottom of its profile yesterday. It's trading below that today. That's giving us a profile change in trend signal. The next level of support on a daily basis would be down at 50.99 and a quarter. That's its TD9 count breakout level. The key area to be watching today is going to be that spot volatilix, which yesterday closed above its 50 day exponential moving average. The 50 day is presently printed at 13.89. We've tested that this morning. It's been a test and rejection, but a price closes back below the 50 day, closes back below. 1389. Well, then that would uh, put the market back in the hands of the buyers out there. But that's not what we've got as of 1101 in the morning. Watch that 50 day exponential moving average. Now, the rally that we've seen so far, most of that can be attributed to really three different things. One, an oversold market. We'll take a look at that during the Trader's Ed show. But mostly that there was a one day rate of change that's bought volatilics above 10% out there. We take a look at the NQ. The NQ uh, did form a sell the D point top yesterday. Price is trading with inside its profile. Uh, the profile support is down at 18,508. The U.S. dollar index continues to struggle at the center of that profile, that center being at 104.97 out there. If we take a look at Goldilocks, gold is testing profile support. We did get a new profile that formed yesterday. The support on this at 2361.50, resistance 2400, even Steven. In the case of silver, it still is an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. It wants to go target 3403. That's the one-to-one -one price objective. Light speed crude did break through that descending trend line. It is testing it right now. It does have a new profile. It has shifted slightly. The slight shift has resistance now up at 79.88. The bottom or support is really about the same at the 76.98 level. Uh, you take a look at natural gas. It closed below its bull structure daily profile yesterday. We're trading below yesterday's low. Its next level of support will be $2.52, the top of the weekly profile. And the 30 year treasury, it's trading below profile support as well. Maybe targeting why it already has targeted its swing point from back on uh, April the 25th. You want to watch the high there of 114.11. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, have a terrific one, and we'll see you soon.